Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this uh, Zolo Black with me and in this video we'll be doing the gaming review with this device. And uh, this uh, device runs on the Snapdragon 615 chipset. I've already done the unboxing so you can check out that for more details. And we'll start with some mid-level games and then quickly move to some heavy games. And also later on we'll check the temperatures to see if it exhibits any heating issues. So this is Dead Trigger. And I noticed some lag there, rather surprising, but uh, let's continue. Maybe it's just the loading. And it just has a single uh, firing speaker, so let's just uh, continue. And I would say it's running this game uh, uh, pretty well. Again, uh, Death Trigger is not a very heavy game. So let's do one thing, let's just get out of this one and let's see how it handles some other games. So let me just go back and we have a multitasking tray, you can just swipe away apps like this. And uh, now let's move to, uh, let's play Asphalt 8 and see how it handles. So this is Asphalt 8 and let me actually show you the uh, settings. Uh, I also tried this, this Asphalt 8 on high graphics setting, uh, but it was actually too laggy. Uh, so we're going to play it on the medium graphics settings. And I'm using the on-screen steering. So this is the Iceland level on Asphalt. And as I mentioned, I'm using the on-screen steering. And we are at the uh, medium graphics setting. And as you can see, I can notice some lag while drifting, even on this uh, medium graphics setting. Yes, lots of drop frames that I notice. It was actually almost unplayable on the high graphics settings. Uh, but yeah, it's still not that smooth, I would say, even on this medium graphics setting. Yes, as you can see, so many drop frames. And there's a lot of action. It is lagging quite a bit, I would say on this asphalt 8 it's sort of disappointing but again uh, the thing is that they're using a 1080p panel uh, if they would have used a 720p panel the gaming would have been a lot better uh, but definitely i would say it's skipping a lot of frames on this asphalt 8 even at this medium graphic uh, setting there's no doubt about it i would say um, and uh, it's just about six odd minutes since we were gaming. Uh, it's not getting that hot. I thought it would get a lot hotter. But as you can see, it's around 39 degrees Celsius here on the screen. And here at the back, again about uh, 39 to 40. Yes, it's touching max. But let's just get out of this one. And now uh, let's move to some other heavy games like uh, Nova 3. And later on, we'll also test Modern Combat and see how it handles it. So continuing with Nova 3, and as you can see, it's actually way too laggy. Simple fact that the GPU is not able to handle this 1080p screen. It's lagging like crazy with top frames. As you can see, the animations are not that smooth. In fact, I would say the Lenovo K3 Note did a lot better than this uh, device, at least in uh, gaming. Yeah, that also lagged a bit, but it was not lagging this much. This one is lagging quite a bit, I would say, even on this uh, Nova 3. Yeah, 
but again and i thought it uh, would heat up a lot more but it's not heating up that much and as you can see the voice is also cracking so it looks like it's just struggling to keep up you can play it but certainly a lot of drop frames and lag that i am noticing quite a bit i would say so not a very good experience in my opinion for gaming it's playable but not that great also in terms of volume uh, i noticed that even on asphalt it's not that loud in some of the games for example even on this nova it was not that loud so it's uh, got around uh, i would say 12 odd minutes since we were gaming so let's again look at the temperature before we move to modern combat and here it is now touching around the 42 degrees celsius mark as you can see here on the screen again around that 42 degrees celsius again the frame rates are not smooth at all very choppy frame rates uh, so uh, it is playable but uh, i would say the experience is not that great in my opinion and let's just continue and see how if it improves no again i can see some lag I'm noticing lagginess when there is a lot of action going on. But it, it's not heating up that much. Uh, in fact, uh, I'm not getting that burning sensation that we generally get with Snapdragon 615 chipsets. So it looks like they're aggressively throttling it to avoid uh, heating issues. It's playable, but uh, I would say fr you will notice some frame drops uh, every time here and there. So now it's around 15 odd minutes since we were gaming. So let's again look at the temperatures. And as you can see about 41.5. Yes, I'm in an AC room. So in a non-AC room, uh, it might go up about 2-3 degrees uh, centigrade more. Uh, so let's just get out of this one. So as you can see in terms of gaming the performance on this uh, Zolo Black was not that great. Uh, uh, we noticed lagginess uh, in almost every heavy game uh, even in Asphalt, Nova 3 and Modern Combat 5. So I would say yes if you are sort of a very casual user you can go with this and if you don't play very heavy games yes it will be okay. But if you play a lot of heavy games then I would simply not recommend this device for gaming. I'll also be posting the full in-depth review for the Zolo Black very soon, so stay tuned to my channel. Thanks for watching and if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thank you, this is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.